like people always ask me, and you know, if you're not comfortable, it's cool. They always think that there's like some person behind PMI that's like, I want to try to trick them. Right. No, no to trick that's them, a right? guess the rules. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if it's out there on our website somewhere or not, but we have an item writing guide. And one of the things is there's no tricky questions. Mm. We're not trying to trick people because it, that would, so if, if you do look up IRT, if you look up um, how assessments are developed, you're going to look at something called a TIF, which is a, a test information function. Um, every question is giving us information about you. That's part of the reason that we like independent questions um, oh, because wow. it's separate pieces of information. And we're gathering all of that until we feel confident that our estimate of your proficiency is right. So, um, saying a certain specific number of questions, depending on those questions, it might be different. We're trying mm -hmm. to gather all this information like you would a water sample, right? You yeah. pull water from the corner over here, you pull it over there um, down the street, and you're getting all these different independent samples to get an overall understanding of that water. You know, is it yes. contaminated? Is it um, the bacteria, the, is it safe to drink? All those other pieces, right? With project manager, we're sampling. Every single question is a sample and we're gathering all this information to try to build an overall picture of the people taking the test and saying, yeah, this is enough that we're confident they meet the criteria that they are going to be an excellent project manager.